Hello Eagles and welcome to the Class of 2020 Award Ceremony. We would like to thank the PTSA for sponsoring this event as well as Full Tilt for providing gifts for the senior class. And me. Y'all should thank me because I've been putting in a lot of work for the senior class, let me tell you. One of the reasons why I really love this event is because it gives you an opportunity to have the senior class together one last time but unfortunately that's not the case this year. I also love the fact that this is an opportunity for us to celebrate your academic growth, your excellence. This year we're gonna recognize sports. There's so many categories for us to give recognition to the senior class, so I really hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you root for your classmates. Um, this is a really special time for you guys and we're really proud of your accomplishments. Our first award is for the Seal of Biliteracy. These students have demonstrated bilingual proficiency by passing the world language test. Here are the honorees. For Mandarin Chinese, Zi Jun Guan, Lyndon Ta, Calvin Zing, and Pei Ji Zing. For Somali, Sihom Abdikadir. For Spanish, Maria Bersino Esparza, Martita Chapitan Losi, and Linda Hernandez Santos. For Tagalog, Krista Alcon, Joyce Alcon and Julian Carbonell. Congratulations to all these honorees. Our next category is community service. The counseling team, along with other teachers wanting to recognize their teaching assistants for their service throughout the year, will also be giving out awards for students who have earned the most community service hours. Here are the honorees. I'd like to thank Donalyn Cassio for her outstanding service to the library, both as a TA and an officer of Library Club, each for two years. She helped to create artful displays for the library, run the daily operations, and for Library Club, she created many fun activities and helped to organize field trips. Thanks for all you've done for the Cleveland High School Library, Donalyn. The attendance TAs are arguably the best TAs in the building, so choosing the best is always really hard. Uh, after Linda and I discussed it, we decided upon someone that um, showed up every day with a smile on his face, uh, always was willing to help. Um, he made every day fun um, and we will miss him greatly. So congratulations, Omar. The counselors would like to recognize someone who has been working in the counseling center for two years and always showed support and love for her school and her peers. Sagal Muhammad is someone we could count on to exemplify humility and respect to others who came into the Counseling Center. Her voice and opinion is valued in our work. We will miss you in the Counseling Center, but are so excited for your future and next steps in life. Congratulations. This Community Service Award is for Shalia Jones for her TA work with Logan and Trent. Uh, for really showing growth and sticking with time-intensive tasks, whether it's TAing or homework, um, and for always speaking her mind, especially to Trent. This award goes to Kalia Best for her willingness to get the job done and for really encouraging her peers to push themselves to do and expect more from the people around them, whether that's peers around college or freshmen with her Link Crew group. Appreciate your work. For Alexis Santiago Cortez, for a constant positive attitude and for selflessness and connecting peers to resources, whether the auto show um, or connecting students to skills center opportunities, and also really for looking better in Francisco's chair than Francisco looks. Thank you. For Robel Johannes for always respectfully checking in with us, for having a positive attitude, and mostly for demonstrating maturity and holding um, adult conversations. Um, it's always great to hear more from students uh, and have them push you in your thinking. I also want to really respect you for uh, pushing Cypress in his thinking a lot. Um, thank you so much for all the growth you helped him make this year too. In order to graduate, students must earn more than 60 service learning hours. Last year's honoree, Andrew Cornell, had more than 468 hours of community service, and we thought that was a lot. But this year, we had four students who earned almost 500 service hours or more. Miley Tran with 520 hours. Andrew Hong, 529 hours. Tommy Adams, 530 hours. And your valedictorian, Lorraine Dupeya, had 627.1 service hours. This year, we added a new category, part of an Eagle Award. Here's Ms. Brown to tell you more. 
The Heart of an Eagle Award is given to seniors who have exemplified the values and character that we aspire to in the Cleveland High School community. Throughout this show, we will be revealing those students. Some examples of how students earned the Heart of an Eagle Award include being a leader among peers, someone who others turned to for advice and support. Many Heart of an Eagle recipients were there for their friends in powerful ways and helped our community to be stronger by doing so. In the leadership category, there are several students who deserve recognition, but these select few took their job above and beyond. Here's Mr. Campbell to kick us off with ASB leadership. First off, Kira Maynard, ASB General Secretary. Uh, Gabby Payoyo, ASB General Vice President. Finally, Mauricio Vasquez, ASB General Cabinet Member. Thank you all for stepping up and being leaders this year. I'm proud of how you did that. Excited for what you do next year. We nominate three seniors for a leadership award for Link Crew. Congratulations to Akira Copeland, Zakia Idris, and Jesus Velasco. These students have excelled in leadership skills from orientation to weekly visits to their ninth grade advisories. They maintain meaningful relationships with their freshmen and always led by positive examples. Continue to blaze trails and lead. My nominations for leadership for African Student Association are Zakia and Maiba. It was really hard to get this group off the ground. You guys both uh, really played huge leadership roles into making it be something when it started out as nothing. In leadership for Cleveland Publications, we chose Francis Nguyen. Francis has been part of the CPUB community for the last three years, and he has done a phenomenal job of leading the design team, of being a good teacher, of showing students and being patient with them while they learn how to use the software. And I have just really appreciated the work that Francis has done uh, to grow this program. So congratulations, Francis. I don't know what I'm gonna do without you next year. Hey there, it's time to shout out two founding members of the Cleveland Athletes for Social Justice Club where the voices of student athletes advocate for change. First up, Glacy Reyes Herrera, flying around the soccer field, bringing your ideas for change. We never did pull off that California trip idea you had for the club, sorry about that. Brandon Trujillo, what did he not do? Baseball, frisbee, photographer for everyone and every team. He even taught me Instagram, cool. Brandon and Glacy, your legacy will live on and continue as the Social Justice Club continues to fight for what is right. Congratulations. Here are the next group of recipients for the Heart of an Eagle Award. Some other examples of how students earned this award include being a leader for our school staff. Many students receiving this award participated in conversations and activities designed to help Cleveland get better at supporting students. They gave us honest feedback and pushed our thinking about what kind of school we want to be. We were really upset when we were unable to have this year's talent awards. We were looking forward to recognizing athletes for their contribution to their sports. We know that you gave up a lot this year and we recognize that it was even harder for seniors who didn't get to play their final season. We've decided to include some categories in this year's academic awards. For most improved in athletics, here are the honorees. In cross country, Zach Artan, Ian Capinos for football, Mario Rendon Barroso also for football, Lily Ahn for volleyball, Glacy Reyes Herrera for girls soccer, Anton Carbonell for boys ultimate frisbee, Rita Dang in golf. For most improved in cheerleading, Cindy Q in girls basketball, Shade Cannon, and in boys swim, Justin Nguyen. For tennis, Justin Nguyen. Also for tennis, Karen Ma. Leanne Tran for softball, and Vicky Lee also for softball. For boys soccer, Roger the III. For girls frisbee, Julian Carbonell. And for baseball, Mason Camelon. Congratulations to these honorees. Your coaches were super excited about the work that you've done on and off the field, and they were excited to recognize you for your growth in your sport. Congratulations. For their outstanding performance in athletics, here are the honorees. For football and track and field, Jordan Cannon. For volleyball and tennis, Wynn Eckelberg. Outstanding in golf and baseball, Reed McFeely. 
for bowling and swim, Vicki Lee. Outstanding in girls soccer, Jenna Padawaran. In boys soccer, Abdi Fatah Hassan. Outstanding in girls ultimate frisbee, Gabriela Peyoyo. In boys ultimate frisbee, Aiden Lopez Escarez. For boys swim, Andrew Hong. Outstanding in slow pitch softball, Jordan O'Neill. Outstanding in boys basketball, Shahid Abdul Mumin. In girls basketball, Jade Cannon. Outstanding in wrestling, DJ Arn. Also in wrestling, Savion Galloway. Another outstanding wrestler, Nathan Trong. In softball, my girl Molly House. For track and field, Shade Cannon. Outstanding in cross country, June Lynn. Outstanding in cheerleading, Jasmine Hendricks. Also outstanding in cheerleading, Ernesto Tugatti. And outstanding in cheerleading, Cameron Delgado. And now here's our athletic director, John Hughes, with a special award for Cleveland's Most Valuable Eagle. Hey, I'm here to celebrate a special eagle. Congrats to Javari Bogan for being named the Most Valuable Eagle. He kept us informed with his school announcements and made us laugh. Heck, he even surprised us for the basketball game when we were broadcasting to uh, sing the national anthem. Those football games, well, your play-by-play -play was better than Al Michaels. So, I appreciate everything you've done. I always like listening to you talking about football, aerospace, piloting, all that good stuff. I know your future's bright, whether it's going to go into broadcasting or into aerospace. I appreciate you. Congratulations. This is John Hughes, Athletic Director, honoring Javari Bowman. Signing out. Here's the last group of recipients of the Heart of an Eagle Award. Some other examples of how students earned this award include being a leader by being willing to grow and change themselves. Some recipients of the Heart of an Eagle Award experienced significant life events that might have kept them from reaching their goals, but these students persisted, often growing stronger from having experienced the challenge. They model persistence and resilience for us. Thanks to all the recipients of the Heart of an Eagle Award, you made us better, and at Cleveland, we do different better. And now we've come to my favorite part of the show, the Academic Awards. What I love about putting together the Senior Breakfast and Award Ceremony is that we get to recognize students in all of their academic achievement, from excelling in the classroom to their growth in the classroom. It's fun because teachers get a chance to send in multiple nominations for students in each category, and it's really great to see what teachers have to say about the work that you've put in in the classroom. Here are the honorees for Academic Growth. The Cleveland Science Department would like to honor Jordan O'Neill for extraordinary academic improvement and growth. Jordan brings genuine interest and intensity to her science classes. Many teachers noted her dedication and hard work. Jordan is known for relentlessly seeking feedback and asking how she can improve. Jordan's growth mindset and never quit attitude is so admirable in the sciences. We're excited to see Jordan continue to work and grow in the sciences long into the future. We chose Nathan for the Academic Growth Award for Science uh, because particularly in AP Chemistry last year and then this year in uh, UW-Bio, we've seen Nathan grow and get uh, better and better test scores and learn how to learn better. And so he's become a much stronger independent learner and we've seen those results in his tests and quizzes, so congrats, Nathan. Academic growth and technology is broken down into three categories, video production, graphic art, and multimedia. I am proud to recognize Floki Nguyen for his growth in video production. When Floki first started in my class, he could not remove himself from doing cinematic videos, and he has really shown himself to be a great news broadcast uh, producer. He's great with teaching other students, and I just really love how far he's come in his growth in video production. I'd also like to recognize Shalia Jones for her growth in video production. 
At the beginning of the year, Shalia was really unsure of how to use the camera. And she really proved herself to not only be great behind the camera, but also a great editor. So congratulations, Shalia, for the growth that you've shown in video production. And finally, I'd like to recognize Erica Hairston. Erica was new to Cleveland this year and I really enjoyed her in class. She came such a long way in her um, ability to use the camera and I was just super appreciative and excited for her in her growth. Um, and she's just a really pleasurable person to have in class. I really enjoyed her energy and I'm really gonna miss you. I wish you had been at Cleveland a little bit longer than one year, but I'm glad we got a chance to get to know you. For academic growth in graphic art, I'd like to recognize Edgar Cazares. Edgar was also new to Cleveland this year and I love your energy. I enjoyed having you in class so much. I love when students take the initiative to get the work done on their own and you were just a joy to have around in class. For academic growth in multimedia, I'd like to recognize Brandon Trujillo for his growth in photojournalism. I've watched him grow into someone who's become a phenomenal photographer. He is super proficient with the software and I appreciate the hard work that you put in and I'm excited to see what you do in the future. For academic growth in engineering, I award Scott Wynn. Scott, you came to us as a senior after having done computer science the rest of your time and you killed it this year. You are creative and your problem solving is wonderful and it was great to see you work. The award for academic growth in mathematics is given to recognize and honor the significant mathematical gains made by a student at Cleveland High School. This student constantly sought out new challenges in each math class that she took and grew in confidence to become someone that would constantly lead her group. It was my privilege to witness this in my AP Calculus class, and because of her incredible persistence, we would like to honor Jasmine Arias. This speech was written by Ms. Evans and myself. Um, the winner for this year's Humanities Award for Growth goes to Jasmine Hendricks. She is seen as a leader by both her peers and educators and was nominated by several of her teachers. We can see that Jasmine has grown in humanities because she listens for understanding, is reflective and intentional with her participation, and she pushes us to think more deeply about community. She exemplifies what it is that we want in and for our graduates. We want them to be confident in what they know, who they are, and how much power they have. <clears throat> At a time when the world needs revolution, Jasmine gives us hope for what is possible. Jasmine makes us proud. Period, Pooh. I'm thrilled to present an award for academic growth in humanities to Anthony Nguyen. The humanities team was very impressed by how Anthony has grown over the past several years, especially in his writing and in his group leadership. Congratulations, Anthony. And for Spanish, we have the award for academic growth, and this one goes to Akira Copeland. So big congratulations to you, Akira. Um, you have been a student of mine in Spanish 1 and Spanish 3, and it's been an honor to be your teacher. Um, I have seen you start from the basics of Spanish and grow through uh, being incredibly proficient and fluent in Spanish 3, so uh, it has been a great joy to be alongside you for that journey, so congratulations. Hey Eagles, it's Campbell again, about to present Outstanding Student in Business and Marketing. This student brought a lot of uh, real world experience into the classroom and relayed that to the student projects, um, so I'm really proud of what you did. Um, excited for him to go to business school and continue growing. And so that student is Jermaine Smith. Proud of you, stay in touch, stay strong. Nico Aquino has shown a tremendous amount of growth over the last four years. Um, when he first started in our percussion class as a freshman, he had never played a musical instrument before. And now as a senior, uh, he has not only been a leader in the class, but has helped to uh, guide decisions and uh, educate his peers. The male PE award goes to Raja Reeves for his effort in and out of the weight training class. He did his own 100 push-up challenge outside of class and continued to work on his goal of increasing his strength. And then he's done an excellent job during this COVID-19. Uh, Thank you, Raja. Gonna miss you. Best of luck to you, kiddo. I'm thrilled to present an award for academic growth to Alexis Campos-Roman. 
Alexis is an integral member of our classroom community, and we've been so impressed by his growth over the course of the past year, and especially his work as a group leader, a writer, and a very talented artist. Congratulations, Alexis. I'm thrilled to present an award for academic growth to Mario Rendon Rosa. We've been very impressed by Mario's organization and his commitment to the writing process, especially in this past year. Mario has grown tremendously throughout his time at Cleveland, and we can't wait to see how he continues to grow and excel in the future. Congratulations, Mario. Hey, class of 2020. I'm really gonna miss all of you, but I'm nominating a student who went from uh, heatedly and earnestly discussing deep philosophical underpinnings of superheroes when he was a ninth grader to positions of great responsibility at Cleveland High School and I just like this. that student is Javon Safford. I'm really proud of you, Javon. I'll miss all of you. Bye guys. Here are the honorees for academic excellence. The Cleveland Science Department would like to honor Zakia Idris for academic excellence. Zakia, throughout her Cleveland career, has demonstrated extraordinary achievement in her science classes. She is hardworking, very attentive to detail, and is comprehensive in her ideas and explanations. In addition to her individual academic success, many teachers also noted her willingness to work with and help many of her peers. A tremendous example of Cleveland unity. Congratulations, Zakia. We are so excited for your future achievements. Hi, Mr. Lynn here. I'm here to present the 2020 Science Department Award for Excellence to On2. Us as the department have decided to give On this award because throughout his four years at Cleveland, he has always chosen the most rigorous science courses and has excelled in all of them. Congratulations, On. This honoree for excellence in graphic art is a student who showed great attention to detail, who took their time with their work, and was just a joy to have in class. So I would like to recognize Talina Bonilla for her contributions to graphic art. Congratulations. For academic excellence in video production, it had to go to Mauricio Vasquez. Mauricio has been my right-hand man for the last two years when it comes to Vantage Point, and he has built this program into way more than what I could have ever imagined. And what I love about Mauricio is that he's not only a great editor, but he's also a great teacher. And I've witnessed him going around to students, showing them the ropes, and it's been really, um, fun to see how far he's come and how he has really taken this program under his wings. For academic excellence in multimedia, I've selected Francis Nguyen. Francis has been with CPUB for three years and he has proven himself to be a great designer. I've really appreciated the way that he's jumped in. He's become really, really strong in his design and work ethic and I've really appreciated having him on the staff for the last three years. So congratulations, I'm really looking forward to see what you do in the future. For academic excellence in engineering, I award Stephen Mai. Stephen, your brain is brilliant. I tried to stump you last year in engineering and it didn't work. So thank you for doing the most every day and bringing your all. This student has demonstrated academic excellence in mathematics because of their determination to succeed, their collaborative efforts, their compassion towards students and staff members, and their utmost respect and kindness to whomever they're working with. It is my pleasure on behalf of the math department to award academic excellence in mathematics to Shade Cannon. Congratulations, we're so proud of you. So for academic excellence in humanities, the department has selected Tetiana Muntha. So it's been a privilege getting to know Tetiana over the past four years as her advisory teacher and to have had her as a scholar in humanities class. Tetiana has a sincere, brave, and empathetic spirit that she brings to everything she does. She's incredibly thoughtful, wise, and compassionate, not to mention a gifted writer and an exceptional leader and collaborator. Tetiana will shine in her future regardless of the path she chooses. I'm so lucky to have met this incredible person, and she represents the very best of what we're about at Cleveland. Congratulations. For Chinese um, in academic excellence, we want to give a huge congratulations to Angel Liu uh, for your consistent hard work throughout 
uh, all your time in Chinese, especially in Chinese 3, a really advanced class. Um, so congratulations to you. And thank you for being such a hardworking and dedicated student. I'm about to present academic excellence in business and marketing. Uh, this student showed a lot of leadership and accountability for their group projects this year. Um, so I'm proud of what they did. And I'm excited for what they do in the future. And that student is Alberto Quintanilla. So congrats, good job, proud of you. Kira Maynard has been a pillar of the music department for the last four years. She is an amazing student who has been dedicated to being the best percussionist that she possibly can be. She is constantly coming up with ideas to try to help our uh, percussion classes as well as working hard at any assignment given whether um, whether it's helping other classes or helping younger students um, be better percussionists. For academic excellence in art, Ms. Borgelt and I selected Donalyn Casio. We both felt that Donalyn has displayed a tremendous amount of refinement in her illustrations and she has mastered one of the hardest traits of being a good artist and that's how to take feedback. So great job, Donalyn. Ms. Borgelt and I are very proud of you. This uh, is Mr. Lighthall. We chose Bailey Amundsen as our great PE student. She signed up for two classes her 12th grade year when almost everybody else was um, having it waved or trying to get out of it. And she came to class, always competed. She loved being there. And we know she's gonna do great at Washington State. I'm honored to present an award for academic excellence to Sagal Muhammad. I've had the opportunity to work with Sagal for the past several years and have been consistently impressed with her dedication to her writing and her willingness to seek feedback and revise, which is really the skill that I think is most important going into college. Congratulations, Sagal. I'm thrilled to present an award for academic excellence to Abdi Hassan. It's been a great honor working with Abdi this year, and I'm so impressed by his commitment to his studies and his conscientious support of his fellow students. Can't wait to see what he does next. Congratulations, Abdi. I'm honored to present an award for academic excellence to Joyce Abigail Alcon. I've had the opportunity to work with Joyce for the past several years and have always been very impressed by her dedication to her studies and her willingness to support her fellow students. I can't wait to see what she does next. It's my honor to present an award for academic excellence to Priscilla Len. Priscilla is one of the kindest and most dedicated students I've had the opportunity to work with in my career. She continuously works to revise her assignments and brings joy everywhere that she goes. Congratulations, Priscilla. The Cleveland High School Alumni Association gives out more than $10,000 in scholarships each year. This year, they've chosen to recognize seven students. Valeria Grasso, Teresa Tran, Andrew Hong, Joyce Alcon, Justin Nguyen, Chapel Barnes, and Leilani Batak. The Nisai Student Relocation Commemorative Fund, which was founded in 1980 to provide students from the Southeast Asian community awards to advance their education, gave out two scholarships to Cleveland seniors. Bao Tran Nguyen, and Kevin Tran. The Allied Arts Foundation Block Awards recognizes students with an award and a stipend for their artistic achievement in high school in the following areas, performing arts, literary arts, music, and visual arts. The winners of this year's Block Awards are Mauricio Vasquez and Ina Hong. Our final award of the show is a big one. This is the Principal's Award of Merit. This award goes to a senior who exemplifies all the qualities of an eagle a student who's a great visionary, a student who is protective of the nest, and a student who goes above and beyond to make sure that their peers are seen, heard, and taken care of. This year's recipient of the Principal's Award of Merit is Mauricio Vasquez. Congratulations, Mauricio. Congratulations to all of our honorees. On behalf of the Cleveland staff, coaches, and administrators, we want to commend you for making it this far. And as always, we want you to stay fly, Eagles, and keep soaring on.